Um, if you could please begin by telling me why are today's meetings so important for the energy industry and the achievements and next steps in successful operation and development of the Southern Gas Corridor? Uh, you know, when we started uh, this project, there have been a lot of uh, different ideas how it will succeed. Uh, there have been uh, optimists and pessimists, and also those who thought that we will not be able to implement it. But we were committed, and we knew that it is possible to do it, but we needed a broad international cooperation. So we started to build this partnership between countries, between companies, inviting uh, leading international financial institutions to support us with their financing. And um, 3,500 kilometer long pipeline is now a reality. Yeah. It's not a dream any longer. And it is um, embracing more and more countries because as I said today at the opening session, we have uh, new interconnectors which allow to transport natural gas to new destinations. And really, it's changing completely the geography of energy supplies, issues related to energy security. And when you see good results of the initiative which you launched 10 years ago, of course, you always must feel happy. It's a very pivotal year as well. COP29 is on the horizon and the development of these renewable energy projects really showcase how Azerbaijan is trailblazing the future of sustainable energy. Yes, I think this is part of our overall green agenda and uh, our feeling of responsibility because the countries rich with uh, fossil fuel should be among the front runners in green transition. We do it not because we lack uh, traditional resources, but because we want to contribute using the financing, using the revenues which we get from oil and gas sales to invest in renewables and to create a, a common understanding about the need for them. We see it here in Baku every year. Every year we see how Caspian Sea is becoming more and more shallow. Everybody who lives by the seaside sees it, even here in the center of Baku. So we see the implication and dangerous implication of the climate change, less water in our rivers, less snow in our mountains, less water in the Caspian Sea. And if we don't address this issue uh, with passion and with the commitment, then all of us will suffer. So renewable uh, projects agenda of Azerbaijan is very ambitious. Caspian Sea potential of Azerbaijan is 157 gigawatt, which is based on the assessment of International Financial Corporation. And we already started this uh, important journey. And we plan to use renewables, maybe in 10 years time, at a maximum degree and uh, reduce the consumption of natural gas domestically. I liked in your speech inside and you said, the countries who have oil and gas shall not be blamed. You know, <laughs> when we talk about fossil fuels, it's not their fault, but they should be judged mm. on basically, you said they should be judged on how they address environmental protection and green transitions. That You truly believe this, yes? Yes, yes, of course. And this is how we need to change a little bit the narrative about that. Because being a country with fossil fuel, of course, it's not our fault. Uh, it's our, I think, achievement that we managed to avoid a so-called oil curse that many countries with uh, oil and gas reserves have faced. We transformed oil into development. We managed to uh, provide a fair distribution of wealth. We reduced poverty in Azerbaijan during the last 20 years from 50% to 5%. And all what you see here in Baku is an absolutely new development of uh, infrastructure and improvement of uh, living conditions of the people. So the narrative now, unfortunately, is that fossil fuel is something which is dangerous, which is bad, and the countries which have these resources must be blamed for that. My message was judge us, but what we do, how we treat it, how we use the revenues in order to address the needs of the people and to stimulate the green agenda. I hope my message will be heard. Mr. President, Your Excellency, thank mm -hmm. you so much for your time.